Hi friends, welcome to Victor's Reality. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to fix the Dell D2719HGF if you're thinking of getting it and you've been hearing a lot of reports on that the colors are washed out, it's not a clear picture, it's a dull picture, the resolution is aspect ratio is off. I'm going to be showing you everything that I can show you to fix those problems so you can get this monitor. This Dell D2719HGF is the best budget monitor I can recommend you. This has been flawless for me since the day I got it. Everything is perfect, the 144 hertz, the 400 nits in brightness, the colors which is a tad subdued compared to other you know, panels, IPS, VA, all that, but it gets the job done for the price, you can't go wrong. I'm sure there's other monitors out there that you can look at that you're thinking of getting, but this is one, if not the best, that I 100%, 110% recommend you. I'm gonna show you in the best way I can to help you if you're deciding, undecided, on getting this monitor. It's awesome, get it, let's begin. So a lot of people report of the washed out situation. They connect it to their computers and it's a washed out image. And they're like, what is this? I don't want this, this is nasty. So look, as you can see here, it does look washed out, right? The blacks don't look black. This right here is a, you know, lakeside picture. You can see here, there is no definition. There is, you can, everything blends in from the rocks to the trees to the black, the, the, the shadows of the trees, the black areas, the sky, everything. Nothing has definition. Everything is washed out. The colors are not popping. And right here, the lights, they don't pop. Right here, I put this picture here in one of the videos because of the blue, everything looks dull. And let me show you why. So when people connect the monitor, this is what they're saying. It connects automatically to the 60 hertz native 1080p that's what all the reviews are saying that's what everyone is showing and you know when they complain about hey this monitor is not good it's dull it's a washed out picture the hertz look choppy all that stuff this is what's happening i'm sure not everyone i'm sure there are some kind of defects with certain monitors it's common sense with anything but this is probably 99 percent of all the problems this is what you do you go here, switch it down to PC. Right here, as you can see, 75, 100, 120, 144 hertz opens, hit apply. Select yes, right away, you can see the blacks over here are way darker. And here we go. As you can see, I have not changed anything on the camera right away, vibrant image. Now it's not gonna be vibrant compared to an IPS, you know that, but for a TN panel, this is awesome. Look at this, everything is popping. Yes, we can fix that, and I'll show you in a bit how we can fix that, but look, there's color now. There's color here, there's color right here. The rocks have definition. This looks like a darker shade tree. Everything has definition right here. The blacks of the black bars, you know, the letterbox movie or something, looks really good. The blue is popping before it was all washed out into the picture now it's popping right here the grass everything with the icons right here it's there's definition so i'm just showing you it helps tremendously now remember this is a tn panel you can see right here right this section and over here this section on this side of the you know screen it's because i'm in an angle right now and this video, I'm gonna show you the angle because this is the worst case scenario. Where I mean, no one's watching a monitor at an angle, but dead on, everything looks uniform, everything is black, but I'm just showing you. This is what we have to deal with when we deal with a TN panel. And that's, no one can hide from it. That's, you know, how we have to deal with it. Now there is a way to fix the color problem. So we go back into the NVIDIA control panel, desktop color settings, right here NVIDIA settings so click on this 
And what I always do to get more contrast, I'll show you the contrast first. The contrast and the brightness, I go plus 45, so I lower it, and plus 55. That's what I do. I'll hit apply. You can see right here the color. Now, you lower it. See that? The washed out image. So that looks crazy washed out. Go back to 50, 45. No, 47 looks good. And then the contrast here, again, washed out image. All this you can change. I put it to 55 and then the color vibrance right here add a tad to it and look at this light right here okay just add a little bit Let's go to 55 we're gonna hit apply and right there the color is popping now on this kind of TN panel. It's amazing what the difference we can do with the NVIDIA control panel. A lot of people don't know that. And I'm not saying, you know, you buy the monitor and you get it and you're like, oh, what the heck is this? And then you, you know, fidget and everything. And you know, maybe what I'm doing doesn't help you because the panel could be bad. You know, your, your hardware setup could be different. But from what I'm able to do, this is the best budget monitor for the light cannons that it has for the 144 hertz smoothness there is no ghosting there is no over trail there's nothing i have no stutters g-sync compatibility works without a problem everything works no black screens no issues with the games everything just works awesome with this so this is what you can do pc 144 hertz and you can adjust these settings to your liking. Again, plus 45, plus 47, plus you know, 52, plus 55. You don't wanna to go too much because then you'll darken the image too much or you'll lose contrast. Again, these little changes will tremendously change the impact of the image. And I'm telling you, you will be happy with once you get this out of the way. And again, the color vibrancy, plus 50, plus 55. No, 50 is the standard, so I add you know a little bit 5%. Looks amazing. So what I'll do now is I'm gonna show you what a washed out 60 hertz, no changing of the 144 hertz PC setting, how that looks to people when they get the monitor, when they write bad reviews, when they're having issues and complaining of you know certain situations of washed out image and that that was not good and all this. That's what's happening. They're not adjusting anything. So I'm going to show you a before and after and an after after on what my personal settings are. If you need any help, please leave a comment below and I'll help you the best I can. But this video will be super easy to follow. And you know, after the video, I'll show you images and video to show you the actual differences. And as a bonus, I'll include the differences between this monitor and the Aorus monitor. So you can see, but that this monitor gets the job done at a super, super low budget price compared to everything else. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed the content. Don't forget to hit that like button if you found this video helpful. This channel is always here to help. If you ever need any help, please leave a comment below and I'll get to it as fast as possible. Thank you for watching. I hope this helps. This D2719 HGF monitor is one of the best, if not the best budget monitor with the light cannon of 400 nits and the 144 hertz and the you know great response time you'll be in love with this monitor because you'll know it's an awesome deal you'll know you got a great product and you will enjoy this for work multimedia anything you will be happy thanks again for watching and i'll see you guys next time